Imagine this, you're out for a peaceful evening walk when all of a sudden you hear something massive rustling in the bushes behind you. Before you know it, you feel yourself being constricted by some slithery, scaly, massive monster. It's the Titanoboa. Would you be able to escape his death grip? The Titanoboa holds the record for being the biggest snake in the world. It was the biggest snake when it was living, and it's still the biggest snake to this day, even though it's extinct. So today on Life's Biggest Questions, I'll be answering the deadly question. What if you got attacked by the Titanoboa snake? Make sure y'all give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below what video you wanna see from us next. The Titanoboa is massive. This creature was 50 feet long and weighed around 2,500 pounds. A beast that size is quite terrifying. It honestly seems like you wouldn't stand a chance. Thankfully, these creatures are extinct, but they used to threaten the planet 60 million years ago. In the early 2000s, that's when we started to learn more about this creature. In 2009, fossils of the Titanoboa were found in a coal mine in Colombia. From there, we were able to figure out just how big and scary it used to be. So let's say the Titanoboa made a comeback. I mean, it's 2020, anything can happen, right? So let's say they once again ruled the world. Then what? Well, first off, it's important to note that the Titanoboa thrived in hot and humid climates. Back then, the ecosystem of South America was vastly different than it is today. The temperature was several degrees hotter yearly than today, meaning the Titanoboa wouldn't be able to survive long in our current climate. But this doesn't make the return of the Titanoboa impossible. In fact, it's quite possible. So it's thought that the reason they went extinct in the first place was because of climate change. The lower temperatures favored smaller snakes, not big jumbo ones like these guys. But every day our climate is changing. Dr. Jonathan Bloke, an expert in vertebrae evolution at the University of Florida said, and I quote, biology is amazingly adaptable. Changing climates and changing continents are the fuel of evolution. But things that happen very quickly can result in the types of change we might not view very positively. Meaning we could get to a point where our ecosystem was the same as it was millions of years ago. On top of that, Dr. Carlos Yaramilo, a scientist with the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute, said, and I quote, as the temperature increases, you have the probability they will come back but it takes geological time to develop a new species. It could take a million years, but perhaps they will. So they both believe it's quite possible for this snake to be reborn. If that's the case, would humans stand a chance against them? Well, let's look at the way they hunt and attack their prey. The Titanoboa were known as a crushing machine because they would wrap around their prey and crush them with ease. They have an incredibly strong constricting force of 400 pounds per inch. You wanna know what that would feel like? Well, that's roughly the same way as lying under one and a half Brooklyn bridges. Humans can't survive bridges collapsing on them. What makes you think we could survive this snake's death grip? On a positive note, the Titanoboa wasn't a venomous snake. So if you get bit by it, you wouldn't die. You would just have like a massive gash wound on your body. Now, the Titanoboa were known for mainly attacking and eating crocodiles. Crocodiles were their main food source. In fact, they could swallow a crocodile whole. But here's the thing, after eating one crocodile, they could then go the rest of the year without eating anything else. That's insane. So if a titanoboa approaches you, you better hope that it's already eaten. Now, we don't know if the titanoboa would be interested in eating humans because obviously we weren't around when they were alive. So honestly, they may not even be interested in eating us. If that's the case, then they wouldn't pose a big threat to us if we just left them alone. Much like most animals on this earth, if you leave them alone, they will leave you alone. But once it feels like you pose a threat, then they will attack. In this case, if a titanoboa comes near you, you shouldn't panic, run, flail your arms, or scream. Instead, just back away slowly and try to remain calm. But let's say that all fails and the snake attacks you. Even if it wasn't hungry, if it thinks it's threatened, it will kill you. It just won't eat you afterwards. So it would wrap around your body until it restricts your airflow or crushes you to dust. Which brings me to this point. 
Is there any way for humans to fight back against this snake? Well, unfortunately, I don't have a definite answer, but we got theories. So it's said that if a snake is wrapped around you, constricting you, and you struggle and panic, it will just squeeze tighter and make you die faster. It feels threatened by your movements, and so it will show no mercy. But for the Titanoboa, it's not like their main goal is to hunt and kill you. So again, let's say they aren't hungry. They ate their crocodile, they're all good. If it sees you and you freak out, it's going to bite you and then constrict you. But it doesn't want to hold on to you any more than you want it to. With boa constrictors, if you show that you're not attacking it, then it will release you and slither away. But like I said, if you try to like hit it or injure the boa, it will squeeze tighter. So maybe with the titano boa, just staying calm and still as it constricts you is the way to go. Hopefully then it will show that you mean no harm and it will release you. Same thing goes if it bites you. The titanoboa's teeth were angled slightly inward, meaning if you try to pull your hand or arm or leg from its mouth, its teeth will sink deeper into you. The best thing for you to do is relax and wait until the snake releases you from its grip. But I wouldn't suggest running away super fast after it releases you. It might bite or attack you again. So just wait until it slithers away. Now that's exactly what you would do for a normal boa constrictor. As we know by now, the titano boa is way bigger and far more powerful. So these tips might not work at all. It's hard to say how vicious these snakes were. Maybe it would go around ending animals in a blink of eye, just dominating anything that gets in its path. Or maybe it's more like a modern day boa constrictor and it will let you go if you mean no harm. Let's hope for the latter. Now here's another thing I learned about the titano boa. It said that it was similar to a modern day green anaconda, in the sense that it likes being in murky water. In fact, since it was so heavy, it liked being in the water because it could move faster in it. It's also said that it could hold its breath underwater for around 45 minutes, which is horrifying. Imagine you're swimming and all of a sudden you feel that thing tickle your feet. No thank you. But with that being said, it didn't really like dry land. It would move slower on dry land and it didn't climb trees because of its size and weight. So if you encounter a titanoboa, the best thing to do is get away from any water and climb up a tree. Then just wait it out until it slithers away. Upon researching about snakes, I also found out that if you're being attacked by a boa constrictor, then spray it with vinegar, rubbing alcohol, ethanol, or whiskey or vodka, or soak a rag with any of those liquids on it and put it over its mouth and nose, or just pour those liquids all over its face directly. That is said to make the snake release almost instantly. It's because snakes have permeable skin and those liquids are very strong for them. It will irritate their skin and mouth. Would this work for a titanoboa? Maybe, but with its size, you would need a lot of vinegar or alcohol. Not only that, if it attacks you, you don't really have time to go get those supplies, unless you just happen to carry it with you. Even then, if it wraps around your arms, you wouldn't be able to grab your supplies. So in the end, I think we can all say the Titanoboa wins this fight. If the Titanoboa was back, it would be best to avoid any and every area that it could be lurking in. Its death grip could kill you in seconds and you wouldn't be able to free yourself. Again, like I said before, it would be best to leave this creature alone. As soon as it becomes threatened, it will strike you. But let's just hope that the Titanoboa doesn't make a comeback anytime soon. And now let's shift gears and move on to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from the video, would you survive among us in real life? Would you? Let me know in the comments below. Just a Dio who's a hero for fun commented, among us in real life is basically the thing. It's so true now that I think about it. Like you don't know who's real, you don't know who's the creature in disguise. It's true. Ryan the vlogger commented, among us would make a great movie. Again, it's kind of like the thing, but I feel like they're gonna make an Among Us movie or something vaguely based off of it. Golden Prodigy 115 commented, Among Us taught me how dumb people can really be. So I'd probably be voted out into space and die. Honestly, me too. They'd be like, oh, you're acting a little suspicious. And I'm like, I just act this way when I'm nervous because I don't want to die. And then I just be ejected into space. But Bedside Car 366 commented, This video is real sus. A lot of you were commenting that. That's really funny. Hmm. Pretty boy Ashton commented, act like I said something funny. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a really good one. 
There you go. All right, that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Life's Biggest Questions for more thought-provoking videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and stay curious, YouTube. <laughs> Fluff one up my nose. Instead, <laughs> now here's another thing I learned about Titanoboa. The Titanoboa, Jesus. Like imagine swimming and all of a sudden, swimming, nice. Imagine swimming and all of a sudden feeling that thing, t no. Imagine swimming and all of a sudden feel that, nope. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Gonna scroll up a little. No, 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 scroll a little bit, a little. I said it wrong. <laughs>